Crystal Dynamics, the problem is Square Enix. Exactly. That's what drives me fucking crazy when people, like, ride Crystal Dynamics about this shit. Because you don't even know a half of the fucking failing that Square Enix has had on this property so far. You have to wonder if Miller's genuinely stupid enough to believe Square Enix is exclusively to blame for a two-villain Marvel game with a campaign that you cannot replay over four months after launch and the loot in the looter is still broken. The dailies in the live service do not work and people are being too hard on Crystal Dynamics. Like the fucking, did you guys see the Twitch streams that five, that, that uh, Avengers, the Marvel's Avengers had recently? Five gum paid for that. Literal packages of gum to sell and they can do it better than you can sell your game. Marketing was not and is not this game's problem. How well it advertised would not have changed the laundry list of problems that led people like me months ago to declare it dead. You are now waking up to that fact and the truth must hurt. And see, and honest to God, and I shouldn't be saying this. This is going to get me in trouble. I shouldn't be saying this. But this is what pisses me off when people fucking... Like, go on about, like, oh, Kyle's spitting facts. Kyle's spitting facts. I am, and I'm about to right now. Bro, the guy's pissed that the characters have short hair and they look like lesbians or whatever the fuck. That's his criticism with the game. You can attempt to reduce my criticisms to one point if it helps your flimsy argument as a white boy reducing blacks and having no facts to back them up it must be on brand for you. But check out these receipts. Even my biggest haters would be forced to agree whether I'm on Reddit, Twitter, Discord, YouTube. Kyle's biggest criticisms are that this game has two villains, one enemy type, and zero Marvel locations. It's also not something I'm alone in feeling. The community mirrors these sentiments. My criticism is that fucking Square Enix doesn't know their head from a goddamn asshole. And neither does Crystal Dynamics, and neither do you. I have never brought mention to the girls looking like lesbians on this channel. Ask any of my subscribers. Like, you want to hear about how the game failed? I can tell you. Like, I can tell you what the fuck happened with Marvel's Avengers. If you want to hear what... If you want to hear why the character's tits aren't big enough, you can go to Kyle. You know what I mean? You can go to Kyle for that. If you were smart enough to possess the capacity for shame, I'd have more to say to you. But congratulations on failing to put words in someone's mouth. Trying to force your narrative that ignores the truth on people really shows your true colors, and we get it. You gargle balls. How much and how often you do so is your own damn business, but you will not erase the past no matter how loud you slurp. The actual players remember that when DNA chess could be farmed with the Hulkbuster, Crystal Dynamics patched that the hell out of the game. Remember when high priority targets were respawning and allowing people to get legendaries? Crystal Dynamics patched that the hell out of the game. Remember when missions kept dropping patterns? Crystal Dynamics patched that. Remember when changing the time could get you polychloron, faction reputation, loot? Crystal Dynamics patched that. But the game currently, four months later, does not have dailies that function. There's still two villains on repeat. The looter has bad loot. The list goes on. And I've made lists that have skyrocketed to the top of what the hell ever we put on there because everybody's on the same page. If you're not on that page, fine. If you believe the community doesn't agree, I'm sorry. The only endgame mode that will guarantee exotic loot in this game is still a repetitive 40 floor solo activity that even the most adamant defenders had a big problem with when this game launched. He's a single player and they're saying that's where the exotic drops are at. Why you didn't add this to be or have this be multiplayer when you already have a what is it 14 levels makes absolutely no sense and then when i'm playing it it's broke you see this long-haired mock-up the community really liked over two months ago i didn't make that superhero nick on reddit did you see these suggestions with critique that the community seems to really agree with about what should be handled in the way of improvements i made this post over two months ago Reduce me if you want, but the channel speaks volumes in another direction. I get that you're bored. I get that you have nothing going on. I get that drama is what you think you're capable of, but... But I lick their balls. I lick their balls. I drink the jizz. I drink the jizz of Crystal Dynamics. I'm just another fucking shill. Webster defines shill 
as an accomplice of a hawker, gambler, or swindler who acts as an enthusiastic customer to entice or encourage others. You know how you're trying to encourage people to believe that Square Enix needs more blame? You know how you're trying to encourage people to believe that I ever said anything about the women in this game looking like a lesbian? You're triggered. You mad. And someone watching from the outside might be forced to assume that it bothers you because it's true. Otherwise, it would roll off of you like sweat off of a big dick energy having motherfucker. But this gets up inside you. Thank you. Thank you for the comedy of what's effortlessly the dumbest argument that I've ever heard anyone make against me. I wish you luck. But in the future, when you're telling your lies on your bullshit artist crusade for potential drama with people that are probably smarter than you, try to make sure that there isn't a mountain of contradiction the next time you choke on somebody's name in your mouth. The dozens of videos on my very public channel champion my deliberately articulated thoughts and highlight exactly what is wrong and has needed to change in this game. Regardless of how anybody feels, I still have hope because it's so rock bottom now that surely the only way that you can go is up. For the record, I don't care about you. I'm flattered. But you being bothered by recognizing what you really are is not my problem.